Thanks, Michelle. For those of you that sustained flood damage, there is financial help now available. But the question many people are asking now is, how do I get it? Susan Hogan has the details. Whether you have flood insurance or not, the first phone call you need to make is to FEMA. Now, the federal government is making money available to those of you who need it and qualify for it, but that FEMA money only goes so far. So here's the information you need to know to start rebuilding. Now that the rain has stopped and the flood waters are beginning to recede, the question now is, how do you receive flood disaster aid? There are two questions you need to answer to determine whether you even qualify. Is my home or business within the declared major disaster zone? Since all five counties in Rhode Island are included, that answer is yes. The second question, did your home or business sustain uninsured damage from the flooding starting on March 12th through this flooding? If you answered yes to both questions, the next step? I would encourage anybody who was impacted by these events to register with FEMA. The federal coordinator for FEMA, Craig Gilbert, at a news conference today said all affected homeowners and business owners must contact FEMA immediately to register by calling 1-800-621-FEMA. This will start the process of getting federal grants. The money and how much you actually receive is on a case-by-case -case basis. By registering with FEMA, you will also automatically hear from the Federal Small Business Administration. Don't let the name fool you. The federal SBA program offers low interest loans to affected homes, businesses, and even renters. The funds that come from FEMA are for grants. And those uh, oftentimes don't cover all of the damage. So we are going to be able to loan people for their money for their uncompensated loss. Home loans up to $200,000. Business loans up to $2 million. We're going to send a loss verifier out to determine what it's going to cost to get you back to where you were the day before the disaster. Now, in the next few days, the federal SBA will be opening up centers throughout the entire state. So if you want to apply for one of these loans in person or if you simply have questions for the federal SBA program, you can simply go to those centers now. As soon as the locations are determined, we'll pass that information on to you. For The Roadshow, I'm Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News. A lot of good information.